Okay, so we've given the door overnight to dry out here. And we'll take a look at it from the side. And again, this is one coat of the Benjamin Moore Advance. And you can see that the sheen is a uniform and this is a satin sheen. Try to get close in the middle. Okay, so welcome back here. We've given the door overnight to dry out here and it's all dry. Uh, you can tell from the footage how, how, how great that it covered and just one coat on top of the uh, Roman Pro 99 slash RX 35. Um, and again, this cover probably like 90% or 95%. I know it's hard to tell from, from the camera, but there are some specs. <clears throat> of gray that can be seen through the uh, one coat of the advance here. Now, whenever you use this stuff, Ben Moore, they recommend to get, to let the door dry out for 16 uh, uh, hours in between coats. Okay, so that's kind of a uh, downside to uh, this product, but um, it uh, is what it is. I guess it takes a uh, bit while for it to, to uh, cure. And it says on the back of the can that it dries the touch in one to four uh, hours. Um, I uh, think. Um, no, so it's, it says that it, uh, it dries the touch in four to six uh, hours. But in you know, this case, the, uh, when I was paint, painting here, the air conditioner was on and it probably dried to touch in just over one uh, hour. So that time is going to vary on the uh, conditions when you're painting. If it's, if, if it's humid outside, it may take lo longer, but if you have the air on, um, it uh, only took just over an hour to, to uh, dry to touch here. Um, so we're gonna get going with the uh, second coat here. Now, with uh, this paint especially, you don't want to sand in, in, in between coats here. Because when if, if you go to sand this, you can scratch the surface. And then when you go to recoat, some of those scratches will show up in the second coat here. So just make sure that you strain the paint so you don't have any clumps or dried stuff in the paint. All right, put my hand over, over the surface. It, it's uh, perfectly smooth here. Okay, so that's just... A, a tip about trying to sand down the door um, and if you do get a, a fragment from like the roller or something in it I would just take a, 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 a four inch blade and just shave and just go quickly on the surface to uh, get rid of that but there's no need to sand it with a uh, sandpaper or anything that can uh, cause some scratches to be in the paint because if you get that then you're gonna have to do more than just one more coat of that okay so again, I'm gonna be using this paintbrush right here and I have my Wiz four inch roller and it's a three eighths and a half. And again, I pre-wet this and I spun it out to get rid of all the water, okay? So uh, let's get started here. So I have the advance in my paint pail and we'll load up here to do a, a second coat. And when you load up, uh, after you uh, pre-wet the roller and then spin, spin it out. It probably takes like, tw like 20 rolls to get it to uh, look like this here. And now we're going to load up the end of the roller here. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. 
and we'll just start up here in the corner. Okay, and whenever you uh, load up for the first time, then transfer it to the door, it will go on thick here. But we're going to solve that with, with the uh, roller here. So we use the brush to get in the corners like so. And although this roller can get in the corners, it won't really get in the corners where the corners meet at a 90, which is right here, here, there, and there. So it's important to use the brush too then use the roller to uh, take away the uh, brush strokes here. So we'll come in here. Come as close to the hinge as possible. And now there's a lot of paint there and there and there's still paint that's on my roller. So I'll start at the top here to get to, to get rid of the paint from the roller and then I'll pick up the paint in the middle. Okay, so I've gotten rid of a lot of the paint from the roller. So go back and look, and if you still have an area where there's too much, just go back into it with the roller here, and the roller will suck in the paint so that it's not so thick there, but that looks good right here. And again, you can't add a extender to this. So you have to work fast here, okay? So we'll reload up the roller here. And when you roll out near the hinge, just tape off the hinge and roll as close to the hinge as possible so that you leave the mark of the roller. And again, when you're doing this here, you don't have to be perfect with your uh, brush strokes because the roller is going to take care of that. to the hinge right here. That, that looks good there.
come to the middle and just roll out a V. Spread the paint out. Once it's spread out, come up, down, up, down, up, down, and lay off. Lay off. We're going back into what I just did right there. I'll just cut this in here. Now guys, this paint does have a tendency to uh, drip in the corners, so you have to constantly go back and look at your work here, okay? Roll back into what I just did right there. That looks good there. If you see a drip in the corner, again, just use your brush to get rid of it and then go back over it with the roller. Okay, so that looks good. There's no drips in the corner. take away the brush strokes from right there. And with the brush strokes, you can literally see uh, them being taken away with, with, with the roller. Okay, so it just, it smooths it out and it levels out the paint right before your eyes. Okay, up, down, up, down, over here. Go back into what I just did right there. Come up, go into what I did there. Last but not least, come to the bottom, spread the paint out in the middle, and then slowly work it outward. So remember, always just work as fast as you can with this stuff, okay? So that if you do have a problem and you come back up here and let's say, oh my God, it started to drip there, then you can just go back in, in, into it real quick before this stuff starts to uh, set. Because once this stuff starts to set or dry, 
you don't want to go back in, in, in into it okay so that looks good that looks good down there you can see what my roller lo looks like there <clears throat> and my paintbrush and again you only want to get the paint on the lower part of the brush you don't want the paint to get up into the ferrule or the stock of the brush because once it does that and then it dries then it ruins the brush and then you don't get the same sort of flexibility with the brush and once it dries in there you'll never be able to get that paint out okay so um again some key points to remember when i when i using the benjamin moore advance is you don't have you can't add a extender to it so you just have to work with what's in the can and um and again once this stuff starts to uh, set up you don't want it to go back into it okay because it, it'll leave a mark in the sheen and stuff like that so um again this is a uh is a water based it, it's a hybrid paint so it's it's part water based and it's part alkaloid based so it's going to dry to a hard film it's going to take a bit long longer to uh, set up and cure and um and uh this stuff it uh, levels out great okay so um we'll uh, let this set up and dry and we'll be back to see the uh, finished product so we'll see you on the next one okay so i just rolled this door out here and it's still wet and i'll just show you from the side what it looks like Okay, so we've given the door a, a few hours to dry out here, and now we'll come up and take a close-up. Hello and welcome back here. So you've seen from from the footage what a close up look, what the what the close up of the door looks like. Uh, you can see that two coats of the advance did cover one hundred percent, not only in the hide but with with the sheen too. The sheen is consistent in a uniform. It uh, looks like it uh, was sprayed. Okay, so the, the this paint does an excellent job in leveling out here. Okay, um, and again, just to go over, we uh, primed the uh, the uh, new pre-primed door with uh, the, this stuff right here, the Roman Pro 99 RX 35, and once again, this is able to glide right on top of the f of the flat primer that comes from the uh, factory. Okay, so and then we top coated it with the Advance here. Okay, now you never just you never want to just start with this right on top of the uh of the uh, pre-prime door because this is going to drag and you're not going to be able to get far with the brush and then this is going to get sucked in and it's just not going to look right the sheen is, is not going to look, look right and it's not going to cover and you know, just two coats you want to seal the surface first okay you want the, you want to uh set set up the uh, door with the primer first and then apply this so this can actually dry like it's supposed to this is not meant to dry on a flat primer okay and again um this is a, a hybrid paint it's a, a waterborne paint and it's also a, a alkaloid paint okay so it's going to dry to a hard sheen and it's gonna you're gonna get the same 
or resemble some of the characteristics from a, a true oil-based paint. But the great thing about this is that it cleans up without water here. And again, the uh, they say on the back of the can that the uh, dry to touch time is four to six hours. However, this this uh, second coat dried in, in, in like an hour to uh, touch. Okay, so that depends on the conditions. Again, the air conditioning was on here, so that helped pull the uh, moisture out. But if you're painting in the summertime and there's no air conditioning, it may start to sag. And this stuff will sag if you uh, put it on too heavy. So it's always important to go back and look at your work to get those areas that might, may have dripped. Okay. Because once this stuff starts to uh, set up, and I'd say this stuff starts to set up in like 25 mi mi minutes or uh, less. And once it starts to set up, you don't want to go back into what you did because then it'll look worse because this starts to uh, harden here. Um, so again, this is a satin sheen. And um, the uh, paint brush I use is the Corona Excalibur and it's the Chinex bristle brush and it's an inch and a half. And the uh, roller is the Wiz 4 inch and it's a 3 8 snap. And always re remember to uh, pre-wet this. Okay, and then spin it out, get rid of all, all, all the water. And then when you go to load up, the, uh, the uh, paint will load re real fast into this. And then when, time, when it comes time to clean up, uh, the uh, cleanup time is going to not be that long because it was wet. So the, the Advance ne never had a, real, a chance to dry onto the micro -fi fiber. So it's very important to pre-wet these, okay? Um, so, um, I hope that you have enjoyed this, uh, video series and thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.